immune from all that death on my blanket. Sure, please, a mean pinball. nailed it. I do. I like that song. Listen to this. Bloody hell, this is this is good. Right up my street. This summer, Councillor Ralph McNutt has, has got permission and is going to go ahead with an idea he's had for some years to have a karaoke marathon. And the idea is 
that all the pubs that do karaoke in, in the East Anglia can submit three singers. It's all the money's are going to cancer relief, which is brilliant. The, the, um, it's going to bring business to the town. The town will be as lively as it was in the 60s when Butlins were in this full flow. Absolutely marvellous. And the money's going to cancer relief. It's so good. I'm going to have a go for this, Chris. I'm going, to, I'm going to have a go for this. Sorry, I don't give them monkeys. I'm going to give the Warwick a call. Hello? Hello, Kevin. It's Johnny Silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have, you, have you read the paper? Oh, you have, yeah, yeah. Well, are you going to do anything about that? You know, the, the carry out your marathon? Are you, are you going to get involved? You are? Oh, brilliant, brilliant. You what? Bloody hell, you don't hang about, do you, mate? You're going to hold auditions, auditions tomorrow? Brilliant. And what, you know, what, what, what time are you starting then? 10 o'clock in the morning? My God. Uh, and, and what time will it finish? Uh, it'll finish when you've, when you've decided who, you, who you're going to have. How many are you going to put through, do you reckon? You're going for the three? Good, 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 yeah. Have you, has anybody else rung up and got interested? Oh, yeah, you've had a few calls. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll tell you what then, uh, Kev. I'll bet Tracy's pleased about it, isn't she? Yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, mate, I'll, I'll be there at, um, I'll be there at 10 o'clock, suited and booted, and uh, I'll better get some practice in, but uh, I think I, I think I've got what I want to do. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Is there any entry fee for this? Or No, 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 that's brilliant. We just turn up and sing, and you will, you've got to say yay or nay who's going through and who ain't, and you're going to pick three. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, all right, right. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. 10 o'clock. See you, Kev. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Got to get myself sorted out, haven't I? There's no fool like a bloody old fool. Right. It's karaoke day. The time draws near. It's amazing what you can do when you've had enough beer. Will you sing and make them drool, or will you look a bloody fool? The karaoke guy calls your name. Is this your threshold to fame? You sing your song and do your bit. Was I good, or was I shit? You were shit. Keys, car keys, or bus pass? Bus pass. I'm gonna have a drink. Oh well. Let's go. Wish me luck, darling. This is that ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. Silent. Living it up in the city Got chucks on with Saint Laurent Gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty I'm too hot <laughs> Call the police and the fireman I'm too hot <laughs> Make a dragon wanna retire, man I'm too hot <laughs> Say my name, you know who I am I'm too hot <laughs> And my band bought that money Break it down Girls hit you, hallelujah Girls hit you, hallelujah Girls hit you, hallelujah Just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch.
I didn't get through, love. But I'm I'm first reserve. So if anybody else drops out, I'm in. I'll give it my best shot. Huh. <sighs> Well, it's, um, 16 years now you've left, you were taken from me, Chris. And I'm going to do this year exactly what I've done every year. I've written this year's poem for you. I'll read it to you now. The candle flickers on the wall. I feel nothing at all. The flame it dances and floats so light. If only my wife were here tonight. She's been dead. It's the 16th year. I miss you so much, my dear. These years have been shit without you, love. I wish I was with you up above. The angels have taken you to their breast. And why not? You were the best. That's number 16. <sighs> well, I'm going to uh, get myself together, get my bus pass. Go out, go to the pub and get absolutely stoned. I know it's stupid, costs money, feel like crap in the morning. But this is the most painful day of the year for me, and it's the only way I can seem to get through it. So most of the time. I better get up that lane and get me bus. Bastard. Fucking bastard. <laughs> I went and had a drink in the pub. It was great. Well, well, today would never be great for me, obviously. But... Having a drink, thinking about you and everything, but suddenly there was something happening. People were talking and things were going quiet and this buzz was going around the pub and people just looking at each other and going, saying, what, 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 what? And 
eventually the main, my dear old Sheffer, who does does the karaoke there, he, he stopped the music and the guy singing said, what's the matter? And he went over to Tracy, the landlady, and he said, what's happening? And they whispered, I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, what's going on, what's going on? And then Tracy got hold of their microphone, and they stopped the music, and she says, I've got some very bad news. One of our customers, you, you all know her, yeah, she's Vera, who works in the town hall. She came in and she told us that McNutt, Councillor Ralph McNutt, has, has, has done a bunk with all the money. One week, one week before the start of the marathon, the karaoke marathon, he's done a bunk. He's took all the money. The marathon is cancelled. We're the first to know because Vera works there. She works in his office. He phoned up three days ago to the office, said he, he, he won't be in to work. He's, he's got a migraine. So nobody bothered, they, they left it for a while. And then when they went, he's just gone. He's took the money and gone. It's all down the shitter. It's all finished. Of course, oh, everybody saying what a bra bastard he was and all the rest of it. And then there was those who were moaning about, especially the three singers that got through. They were wailing about the fact that they, whatever. Their chance of fame has gone down the shitter. But it's not that that bothered me. It's not that that bothered me. What bothered me was that bastard that took 90,000 quid away from cancer fucking research. And that money, that money could have helped to cure and save somebody else having to go through this shit. Could have saved somebody else's wife. Bastards like that. How many bastards are fucking getting money? Through, through his selling roses in pubs to, to go to cancer research. And he, he don't. They put a fucking money in their pocket and piss off. And he's done it. He's done it big time. Big time. Fucking bust. Bust. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I'd have fucking tracked him down. I'd have tracked him down and fucking executed him. That was a man, then. I was a man. I've got no fucking strength left now. All I have is a fucking man who thinks he can fucking sing. I'm nothing, nothing anymore. I've got nothing, nothing I can do. What can I do? What can I do? 
shit. Oh, I need some help. I need some help. <laughs> Is there anybody or anything that can help me? I want to be the person I was. The person I was 50 years ago. I want revenge for my Christine. I want revenge for all them people who are going to die for this filthy fucking disease. <laughs> That's eating the human race away. Killing us. And that fucking Tommy, those counselling cunts, fucked off with Nancy Grand. Somebody help me. Somebody help me get revenge. Please. John Silver. Spirit of Revenge heard your call for help. The Spirit of Revenge heard your call for help. He will give you the strength and cunning you had 50 years ago. I don't believe in spirits. He will give you the strength and cunning you had 50 years ago when you were 26 years old and a respected member of the Marlene Mafia. There's, there's nobody down here, or even alive still, who knows anything about the Marlene Mafia in them years, 50 years ago. It's only me. And I left that life a year before I met you, love. So, this is, this, no, this is, this is, this is strange. Nobody, nobody knows about that. 
nobody living. You never knew about it. He will take charge of your body and mind. Revenge on Councillor Ralph McNutt will be served in three weeks. Then your mind and body will return to you. You will remember nothing from the time you woke up from this drunken binge until you read the local paper on Thursday of the third week. This will all start the instant you sign and burn this message. The question is, have you still got the balls for it? If you have, then burn the message. Revenge is sweet. Is somebody having a laugh with me? Or is this genuine? Revenge is sweet. Have I got the balls? Have I got the balls for it? I will know nothing about it. Have I got the balls for it? Have you got the balls for it, John? Yes, I fucking have. I can't lose. Especially, have I got the balls for it? Yeah, I've got the fucking balls for it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Sign it and burn it. You want it fucking signed, I'll sign it. John Silver This will all start the instant you sign and burn this message. Have I got the balls for it? Have I got the fucking balls for it? Eh? Have I got the balls for it? Yes! I've got the fucking balls for it. Do your worst, spirit of revenge. Do your worst.
your heads to like. Put your seatbelt on. Jesus Christ. Hey, you want to look at this? Newspaper report. Monday night, a headless corpse was found in a deep part of Picker's Ditch in Holland on Sea. Tuesday afternoon, the head of Councillor Ralph McNutt was found in a black bin liner bag near the steps of the town hall and a hand microphone was rammed down its throat just protruding out of the base of the neck. The back of the skull was caved in. Also, this handwritten message was in the bag, photocopy of the actual message on front page. Ralph McNutt was executed by the karaoke mafia. CCTV shows a vagrant with a limp carrying a black bin bag walking past the town hall steps. The bag was found in a CCTV blind spot. This suggests it was a local person who knows where the blind spots are in the town. Wednesday morning, Cancer Research Headquarters received a large package by special delivery. Inside was £90,000 and a note saying donated by the karaoke mafia. The police checked to find from which post office it was sent. They tracked it down to a local post office and CCTV showed the same vagrant with a limp paying cash for special delivery of the package. Is this man the devil or an avenging angel? Who is he and is there a karaoke mafia? Who knows? I'll tell you what, love, if I knew who he was, I'd shake his hand. Everyone who is ripping off any charity will be dealt with by an avenging angel or by the devil when they go to hell. <laughs>